Hi there, this is Caleb at Knutson's Meats, and I am here to take you on your journey to learn about meat cuts from the front quarter of beef. We'll start by learning about cuts that come from the chuck, such as chuck arm and chuck blade rows, as well as the rib section where we can get rib steaks or rib roast. Then we'll learn about shank cuts and brisket, as well as soup bones and plate ribs. So here is Corey, our cunning meat cutter at Knutson's, and he's going to be showing us how to break down this front quarter. He's going to start by splitting the chuck and the rib right there on the sixth rib. And then he'll be taking that front chuck section and taking it over to the saw where he's going to split it into some different parts. Now he's splitting away the brisket and shank. So we can use those cuts for making soup bones. And if customers want brisket, we're more than happy to set that aside for them. Now he's cutting the chuck arm roast. So those are going to have a circular bone in the middle, and there's also some chuck plate ribs attached. That right there is going to be the neck we'll use for some meaty soup bones. And here Corey is trimming away the chime bone on the chuck blade. Now with this cut, most customers generally get a three to four pound roast. Smaller families, maybe two to three pound roast and some folks even like to have chuck steak. So this is the chuck blade. Corey's making sure to get out that yellow weasel. Nobody likes that in their blade roast. Now we're gonna take that chuck blade roast and put it in the freezer so it's gonna cut nice uniform cuts. There's your chuck blade roast looking pretty. Now Corey's gonna go to work on the chuck arm He's working hard and pulling away some of those chuck plate ribs. Almost. And there you have it. So Corey's counting the ribs and cutting those off. We're going to put those into some short ribs a little bit later. We can also do barbecue style ribs where we cut those into strips. Those have been really popular over the last few years. Now Corey is taking his time trimming up some extra fat and some silver skin on the chuck arm roast and he's going to put those in the freezer get them ready to cut now it's time to get busy with the rib so Corey's careful to cut out that rib one of the most desired and sought after cuts on beef we serve a lot of rib at Christmas time generally for custom processing the customers prefer steaks out of the rib section, but if you want, we can also cut it into a roast if you want to have that for the holiday dinner. So there is the rib steak. We're going to be putting that in the freezer so we can cut it up into some beautiful steaks, as you see right here. Now Corey is getting those plate ribs taken care of, and those will become short ribs or barbecue style ribs. Next we have that neck and shank, which Corey's going to make quick work of, and those are going to turn into some meaty soup bones, uh, which are great for making some nice beef stock. So when we wrap our meat here at Knutson's, we like to use first freezer film and then waterproof paper to make sure it has a really long life in the freezer of up to a year. Thanks for watching today. We hope you learned something about beef cuts from the chuck and the rib and enjoyed getting an inside look at how we do it here at our custom processing shop. We also have the retail counter if you want to come on by. Edith is showcasing the 30% off all freezer bags this spring. So if you guys want to stock up on some meat, we got a great discount. Our reputation is at stake. Come on down to 64 and Court and check us out or Knutson's Meats, the carnivore store, and our website, www.knutsonsmeats.com. Thanks for watching.